Medical Salt Center. Written by Radhika Bapat, illustrated by Poonam Athare. Taklu was a little boy from Anjali, a small village in the far, far west of India. If you went further west, you would be a fish in the ocean. Anjali was colorful. It has many trees. It also had many squirrels. Squirrel loved nuts and Anjali had many nuts, even beetle nuts. The people were different shades of brown, dark and light brown. There were people, even those who were very, very, very light brown. Taklu was a naughty boy who loved his dog Moti very much. When Taklu was born, his father, mother and Moti were very happy and the whole village sang songs and danced. Even Moti danced on two of his four feet. Taklu's family had very little money. They were a happy family and they sm all smiled like this. Taklu's father was tall and not too dark. He wore a dhoti, walked with an umbrella that had a hook that looked like a parrot's beak and rode a bicycle. His name was Vasubhav. Vasubhav worked for a cotton mill. Have you ever touched cotton? It is soft and white and fluffy and it comes from plants. Vasubhav was soft like cotton. He had very kind eyes and was very simple. Taklu's mother was named Banabai. Banabai had teeth that looked like Dracula's fangs, but she was very funny and made people laugh. One day, Vasubhav came home with lots and lots of sea salt which had been gifted to him. Banabai saw all this salt. Their house was so small. How would they ever take all this salt inside? She got very angry with Vasubhav. She told him, There is so much salt here. I can use it for the next three years. And I have flew in the air and arms swung about like this. Taklu was only four years old and even the tiniest baby mango tree were, were taller than him. Taklu was naughty but he was also very smart. He had an idea. He ran to a potter's yard. May I have a pot? He asked the potter. There were big pots, small pots, even smaller pots and giant sized pots. He tried carrying the very big pot but it was so big that he fell on his bottom. He looked at the very small pot, which was so small that you would need grandfather's spectacles to see it. He found the one that was just the right size and went up to the front door of his hut. There he took a bowl and bit by bit filled his pot with salt. He put the pot of salt on his head and went to his neighbor's house to sell the salt. When the neighbors saw Taklu with the salt, they thought to themselves, What a clever boy! They bought this salt for one rupee. A one rupee coin looks like this. One of his neighbors wanted two pots of salt and she gave him a two rupee coin that looked like this. One neighbor asked for five pots of salt and gave him a heavy coin that looked like this. When the sun began to set behind the trees and the sea, Banabai asked Vasubhav to go and find naughty Taklu. Vasubhav and Taklu Vasubhav found Taklu behind the trees near the pond, playing with frogs that came out to play only in the evenings. Taklu had a small purse next to him. Vasubhav was a very caring father. He sat down and listened to Taklu's story about how he sold the salt and made money. Then they sat on their bicycle and came back home. It was night. Banabai had lit oil lamps and had prepared dinner and was eager to hear their story. They all sat around the earthen stove and laughed and joked and finished a tasty meal. Banabai and Vasubhav was were very happy, were very happy and proud of their little smart boy. Thank you.